The new Fortnite season is here, and with every season, sadly, comes performance issues. But thankfully, I'm the guy to help you fix that. I mean, just look at all these comments. My methods work, so stick around. I'm going to be showing you how to fix your FPS drops, fix your stutters, and just generally improve your performance, your FPS, and reduce that input delay this season. Getting straight into this, what you want to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher, go to Library, click the free dots here, go to Options, and make sure that pre-download stream assets is enabled. As you can see here, it says it installs all assets, that would normally be streamed during gameplay. That means if you don't have this, as you're playing the game, things are being, you know, downloaded or streamed, which not only affects your ping, but obviously affects your FPS in that as well. This kind of just makes it easier on your system and gets everything installed out the way. So when you're playing, things like skins and I don't know, tree assets in the game are not actively taking up additional resource in the background. I'll also recommend if you don't use them, just get rid of save the world and high resolution textures. This is a big one. If you don't use DX12, definitely untake this. This is mainly just due to how much storage it takes. And if you go into your file explorer and go to this PC, if the drive which you have Fortnite installed on is red, so this bar right here is like somewhat up here and it's went red, that is a huge problem. That is probably most of your issue. And whilst getting rid of these will help that, I also would recommend you right click this, go to properties, go to tools, optimize, and with due caution, optimize the drive that Fortnite is installed on. Of course, before doing this, I always recommend creating a restore point. This sounds really scary, but it's not. It just means if anything goes wrong, which is very, very rare, and I've never heard it happen, you can basically just restore and revert your system to its previous state you just click this right here create call it code fetch in the item shop when buying this battle pass and press create the next thing you want to do is go into your fortnite settings go over to the fourth tab the game tab scroll all the way down and until you see extra game options change and video highlights turn that off this is going to really affect your performance and after some drive updates this can sometimes just turn itself on of course it's going to induce a lot of input delay as well because it's always recording in the background peripheral lighting of course another one turn this off scrolling even further down replays after new updates and particularly uh like chapters releases these tend to turn back on in some cases so turn all of these off for the best performance and energy saving i also recommend you turn these two off this one doesn't really matter oh and of course just so you guys know what these do replays of course quite obviously it records replay similar to nvidia highlights it's just another thing that's always running in the background and energy saving quite self-explanatory will save energy and of course for the best performance we don't want to save any energy we want our game to allow our hardware to run as fast as possible and pretty much everything else comes down to your video settings i have made many many videos on this i'm not going to get in depth here but typically full screen 1080p is the best you can even go lower than this if you're really struggling vsync turn that off in most cases always cap your frame rate in game not in creative in creative you want to use unlimited that'll give you the lowest input delay but in game yes cap this it gives you a more stable gaming experience because on the flip side let's say in end game you when your frames are fluctuating that actually then does uh, do the opposite it affects your input delay obviously in creative you don't really have that issue so yeah cap on your refresh right rendering mode of course performance mode yields the best performance all of this graphic stuff none of this matters although i do believe this is the best colorblind mode for competitive free resolution have on even 99 or 75 percent at the lowest of course if you have a lower npc and everything else have on low or off even having your fps off actually does make a difference shout out to the boy zilly i believe this makes like a 20 fps difference just turning this off and although he didn't mention it himself in my opinion in that case going to the game ui tab it also makes a lot of sense to turn off your your net uh your net debug stats and your latency debug stats i believe the net debug stats this one right here i'm certain this is your ping so if you know your fps counter makes a difference surely your ping counter makes a difference i guess in this case maybe not a 20 fps difference because of course if you think about it your ping doesn't fluctuate as much as your fps does but nonetheless no one's mentioned this yet i'll turn this one off and of course for the most part these things will help generally boost your fps it's less about fixing the fps drops everything else really just comes down to your hardware sadly fortnite is only getting more and more intensive and harder to run it's a cpu intensive game so your cpu matters the most if you're going to upgrade any part get a better cpu don't worry about your graphics card too much and get good ram get at least 16 gigabytes of ram ddr4 suffices 3200 megahertz and you'll be good to go and if you want to boost your fps or fix fps drops even more i've made other dedicated videos going a little bit more in depth you know a little bit more general let's focus on this season but they definitely will help probably more than this video actually so yeah drop a like on the video subscribe and go and check it out i'll put it on the screen somewhere